Let's try this algebraic proof. So it's very basic. It's only going to involve one operation, so we're going to start easy. So we are given that x minus 4 equals negative 1, and we want to prove that x equals 3. So the first thing you're going to do anytime you do a two-column proof is you always write down the given as your first step. So as you can see, the first step is our given, x minus 4 equals negative 1, and the reason is given. Okay, so now what you want to do is think about how would I solve this if it were just a problem on the paper? What would I do? So you can kind of do some work down here, and you can say, okay, well, if I had x minus 4 equals negative 1, all I'm going to do is add 4 to both sides, and I'm going to end up with x equals 3. And that's essentially what you're doing here, but you're going to show it just a little differently. Okay, so for step two, we're going to show this addition. So as you can see, I wrote x minus 4 like we originally have, and then instead of putting the plus 4 underneath, I put it on the same line. So minus 4 and then add 4 to this side, and then remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other, so you add 4 to the other side. And the reason that we're allowed to do that is the addition property of equality. So the addition property of equality, which basically says that we are allowed to add the same number to both sides of an equation, and it will keep the equality. So you can add. If you add 4 to this side, you have to add it to this side to keep the equality. So adding the same number to both sides keeps the equality. So that's what we did. We added the same number to both sides. We added 4 to both sides. Now, we only have one more step. x equals 3. Okay? Now, you're probably wondering, well, what's the reason for that? I know that. That's the easy part, right? But what's the reason? Now, the reason, I know most people want to say simplify or something like that. I've had students do that. And you can check with your teacher. I mean, if your teacher allows that, then go for it. But the technical way to do this is to use the, sub <clears throat> the substitution property of equality. And what that's basically saying is we substituted this piece right here for x, and we substituted, or actually I shouldn't say we substituted this for x, I should say we substituted x in for this. So instead of writing this whole long thing, we could just write x, and instead of writing negative 1 plus 4, we could write 3. So it's substitution. We're substituting 3 for that, and we're substituting x for that. So it's the substitution property of equality. Okay, so I'm going to do a few more that get more complex, but I wanted to start you off with the most basic. So as I move through more complicated ones, you should pause those videos and try to do them yourself.